Hello Fit Fossers and welcome to the 15 minute S-curve remix workout. So again, here we are for another 15 minute workout. These are of course just workouts that you perform when you are short on time or if you just cannot be bothered to do a full workout on any given day or any other day. Okay, so why is it called a remix workout? Well, as many of you will know, there are several training styles in the entire S-Curve program. You've got the S-Curve member only workouts, you've got the NMBV workouts, and of course you've got the brand new reshape challenge workouts, all of which train your body in different ways. And you do that because you've got to shake up things within your body to uh, experience a different result. Okay, we do that, we do that in a structured way on the S-Curve program, as many of you will now know. So let's get into it. do here it's called a remix workout because we're going to be performing two different styles of uh, it's going to be the NMBB style of training and it's going to be mixed with a reshape challenge style of training so first exercise we're going to do is it's going to be the super rep squat so you're going to use a moderately heavy weight okay moderately heavy weight and because you won't be able to do, do this exercise with extremely heavy weights and what you're going to do here is you're going to squat down so when you squat down you count to five so it's one two three four five okay one two three four five it's a slow squat that's all it is all right and it's very very taxing on your body once you get to the ninth tenth eleventh reps so you do for you do this for about 15 reps, okay? Now, once you've done this, you're gonna do it to near failure. It's gonna be one set, okay, just one set. And let's do one more. Just one, two, three, four, five. And then drop the weight. Because it's one set, you're gonna take zero breaks, and you're also gonna take zero breaks because the next exercise you're going to do is the upper body exercise. You didn't use any of your upper body muscles there really. Yes, the squat works all of the muscles, but it is mainly a lower body exercise. So the next exercise you're going to do straight after that, in your morning workout, you're going to do an exercise that I haven't done for a while. It's the push-ups with a resistance band. Now you could do the feet raised version or the, uh, the hand raised version, with the hand raised version being the easiest if you haven't got any strength. And the uh, feet raised version is the version that you do if you have mastered the basic push-up, okay, to increase the difficulty, to uh, help wake up the muscles a bit more. So this is what you're going to do. You're going to get on all, get on your knees. You're going to go, you're going to get your resistance band, put it behind your back. You can have handles there if you want. And then all you're going to do is you're going to hold the handles on the floor, all right, or the edges on the floor, and then you're just going to push up. Now, it doesn't seem that much, but if you use the heaviest resistance band, then you're going to feel the increased tension, all right? So you haven't got a bench there. You haven't got a bench here. It's an anywhere workout. That's what these are. These are gym workouts turned into effective anywhere workouts, but you've got added resistance, and that's what you want, okay? So after you've done your push-ups, the next exercise you're going to do, you're going to go straight into, is some fast movement exercises. And this is where we get into the reshape challenge side of workouts, because reshape challenge workouts are circuit style workouts, in a sense. Okay, so next exercise you're going to do is an exercise I haven't actually done at all before on these workouts. It's the band from above wood choppers. So it's a wood chopper exercise, but instead of the band being at the ground, or in the center, it's going to be right above you. So the weight, the direction of the force of the movement has shifted. All right, and that's one of the things you could do in all of your exercises to uh, to force a different result. All right. So what you're going to do here, do exactly the same thing. That's that the band is above. The, the force of the movement is coming from above. You're still going to have your foot facing in that direction, okay, and your face facing the same way. And all you're going to do is, you're going to just chop 
the tree down, right across your body. Now you're going to feed it straight away, all right? It feels the same as the wood choppers, as if the band was down there, but instantly you're going to feel the difference in your stomach and in your core area. And of course you can do the same with the other side. So uh I have my back turned to you for a little bit. So this uh, your body stays completely straight. And this is your stomach. All this area is twisting, completely twisting around in that movement. So you're gonna do your to near failure, one set for each side straight into the uh, band from above tricep extension so come, uh, bring yourself further out so that you've got increased tension here okay and then it is just keep the elbows in the same position push forward all right now you can do this for actually two sets if you wish all right what you can do is you could do a, a decreased Resistance, so you can start off light or start heavy and go light. So this could be the light position, and then straight after that, you're gonna superset it and you're gonna uh, get into the heavy one straight after. Okay, so you can start heavy, go light, start light, go heavy, whichever you wish. But you do a superset and you train your muscle to failure. And I've found that with a lot of fit buzzers, that has caused some fantastic results in the way that your arms look because the triceps are still about two-thirds of your arm okay so the last exercise you're gonna do is you're gonna do the uh, you're gonna do the bicycles now is what you can do is you can tie that band around your feet and you could also do the bicycles and do a three second hold at each fifth rep you've seen me do this before and it works in a very it's very effective okay it's the reason why we do it so you can have your bands around your feet and one two three four five and you hold it one two three four five and you hold it one two three four five and you hold it one two three four five and you hold it so you don't have to have bands around your feet for that but if you want to increase the difficulty the band is there put it around your feet and it's a great way to add resistance to a an already good exercise all right you all know it's an exercise that i love to hate but it's the reason why the abs look the way they do so last thing you're going to do is you're going to do the whole thing all over again because it's a reshape style challenge. So you're going to start off with your squats. You're going to do your push-ups. So the first two exercises are slow moving, heavy exercises. And then the last three exercises are fast moving exercises. So uh, you combine a lot of things there. All right. So that will definitely be a 15 minute workout for you. All right. 15 to 20 minutes. If that. Go, if you go right through the, the whole thing and uh, yes fantastic way to start your morning so got any questions that buzzes on this brand new week then just fire away in the comments reply to the emails add on whatsapp skype viber kick insta message instagram just uh yeah just nudge me and your questions will be answered. So until the next workout, it buzzes. I'll see you then. Bye bye.